Hey everybody, uh, it's Tropics I here. Um, so I was actually not planning on doing this video today, but I actually saw an article saying that the Xbox 360 will be shutting down their um, online service, like the storefront, in May 2023. This was actually officially announced by Microsoft, but then for some reason they deleted that statement a few hours later and said that it's not true. But honestly, the 360, it's, it's old. The Wii Shop, which was made, made after the 360, um, shut down in 2020. The PS3 Shop, for some reason, is still up. Same with the PS Vita Shop, although the PSP store is also shut down. Um, but today, I feel like, let's just take a trip down memory lane and just explore the Xbox 360 before we have to kiss it goodbye. But I mean, we of course got the Xbox One and the Series X now, so... So you're just be scrolling through this, the, uh, the interface, and I do have one game, which is the only game I really have for it that I think you guys would want me to play. It's Minecraft. <laughs> so, yeah. And it's a game I'm familiar with, so hey. So, right here we got Open Tray, um, Recent, which I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, there's nothing. And then my Xbox, the Xbox Live service. And there's also open tray and then my pins, which only happens if you um, have uh, the um, if you're signed in, which I'm not. I was signed in, but I signed out just to hide my name. Um, also, for those asking, this is the 360 Slim, also known as the S model. It's black, and I also have a black controller. But yeah, so that's pretty basic there. And then we got social, which we got friends, which I have no friends on here because I'm not signed in, like I said. Um, we got activity feed, avatar store, which, we, which this is a thing that Xbox 360 did that was actually really cool. You can make your own little avatars, which some companies still do as like Nintendo does with their Miis, although they don't do it as much as they used to. Um, Snapchat has like their Bitmojis, um, Instagram has their avatars too, but let's be real, the Xbox 360 is where the, where the originals were at. Although technically, Nintendo did it first with the, um, with stage debut, or like the game before that, I forgot what it was called, but, and you can also sign in or out, which, like I said, I have no, nothing on here. My, my games, um, browse games and search games, and of course there's Xbox. Now I have no games on here. Then there's movies and TVs, because this is during a time where, um, Having like these kind of stuff on this kind of stuff on your console was mind blowing. Like on 360, you're able to play like DVDs, and if you had a certain peripheral, you play HD DVDs. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can play CDs on here too, but that that was so last gen. But even though technically this console can play things in HD, it can't play Blu-ray, which is why the PS3 beat it in terms of sales. But you can also download like you can download apps like YouTube and Netflix on here, which I mean I don't. Since I'm not connected, I don't think I can, I can download YouTube and watch Tropix 5, which is the best channel on YouTube where you should subscribe. Anyway, you browse movies and TV, search movies and TV. Yeah, you can also download movies on here, which you can also do on the Series X and Xbox One, so I don't see why you'd buy it on here anymore. Apps. Like I said, you can download apps, which... I don't really remember what um, apps they have on here. And of course, we got settings. We got system settings, console settings, and you can see all of your settings. Storage. I have a uh, mem. I have like no um, like memory units on here. Um, because I think I lost my uh, hard drive for it. But I only have so it has like a four, four gigabyte internal hard drive, which is kind of sad. Compared to the Series X, which has one terabyte, Connect settings. I do have a Connect, but I am not using it because that thing is disgusting. Um, computers. You can connect your computer to it. Although I don't know if you can still do this because I'm on Windows 11. This thing's around during the time when Windows 7 was still a thing. I don't know if this will work. TV. Uh, you could add a TV. You can like have like a TV tuner on here. So you can watch TV on here, which you can do on the Xbox One. Sadly, you can't do it on the Series X or S, but whatever. 
Um, and then there's the Xbox One Vision Camera, which is just like a, a webcam, which I think was trying to compete with the PS2 iToy camera, but I don't know. An initial setup, that's like you can like set it up from the beginning. And then also network settings where you can connect to the internet, which I'm not going to do that right now. And also you can do it wired, like every console should. Preferences, which you can just have your online status, notifications, voice, vibration, and family timer. Which I think family timer is like for, for kids, if like for families when they need their kids to get off. Vibration, just turn off the rumble in your controller. I think voice is like mute your mic if you have a mic plugged in. Notifications, I think that's just uh, mute notifications and stuff. And online status, I think that's for like Xbox Live, so I can't really use that. Turn off, yeah, obviously. I'm not doing that right now. Account, that's where you can like do your account stuff. Family, that's like where you can do your uh, family settings. Um, and then privacy settings, which I can't because I don't have Xbox Live on here. Or an account. So I just want to see... I want to see if I can actually log into the store. I'm going to just make an Xbox um, random profile. Let's see if it'll even work. And just think about how slow the loading times are compared to the OG lights like, to the Series X and S and the PS5 and stuff. Yo, what? Choose an avatar. Um, I'll go that. I don't care. Let's see if an exit. Like I said, I'm not. After today, I'm probably not gonna touch this thing ever again. I'm thinking about selling it. Although I do want to start collecting, so I'm not sure. Besides, if I do sell it, I'm probably not gonna get that much for it. So. Probably gonna, probably gonna sell it for like one hundred dollars or something. I don't know. If you guys are interested in buying this three sixty off me, let me know and I might sell to you. Or we could trade for something. I don't know. Um. Let's see, I won't. So if I. So won't let me access the store, but I think I actually have to have like an actual um account. To log in, so. Now, time for the thing we've all been waiting for. Let's play some games. So I got Minecraft, which isn't like the big game on the 360, but like, I think that would probably go to like Modern Warfare, but this is one of the bigger games on here. That I mean, we all play to this day, let's be honest. Alright, it's reading the disc. I think this is my most played game on the 360, or this or Angry Birds Trilogy, which... Oh my god. This is like... Yep, rated E10. Xbox Live Arcade, yeah, that's a thing that existed back in the day, and then there's Mojang. The OG Mojang logo. Alright. Let's play a game. Playing offline. So I wanna create a new world. I wanna call this. Um difficulty easy, more options. bonus chest, why not? Listen, I barely played this version of Minecraft, so I don't know. And actually, apparently, um, this version, compared to other LCE versions, does have the 1.13 update, so... Which, nothing beyond that, sadly. So we can't get the, um, 1.20 update, which, I mean... It's not like we're gonna be missing... There not many people are gonna be missing it, because nobody plays it on here anymore, unless they're truly nostalgic. This is just to see how, look at, 
look how slow it loads. That's when you know it's a 360 game, man. Oh my god. The control? The control? Okay. My, uh... Like, uh... The... Stick is... The, um... Camera is very... So we spawn in a biome. I need to turn on my sensitivity a little bit, but I'm not here right now. This is crazy. And look at the old crafting UI for console editions. Oh, and there's the OG, um, The OG, um, like, what's it called? Achievement system. Like, I hope this is bringing back nostalgia for some of you. Oh my gosh. I'm getting so many achievements in Gamer Score. Which I really feel like they could have done more. Oh my gosh, you can also do the blocking with the sword, too. That's cool. And to think that most, like, new Minecraft players, like, don't know this is a, this is a real, like, version of the game. They're true gamers like me. Oh, so I found a little ravine. Should I turn this into like a Let's Play series? That would be kind of funny, honestly. Oh, imagine I turn this into a Let's Play series. I could probably do it. I mean, I actually have the Minecraft 3DS um, ROM on my computer running in Citra. So I could probably do like a Minecraft 3DS Let's Play. That would actually be kind of cool, because I don't think anyone's ever done that. As nobody plays it, so. the biggest games for the 360 was like Modern Warfare, Minecraft is definitely one of them, uh, GTA 4 and 5 were definitely pretty big ones, cause yeah, GTA 5 was on the 360, and it's still the most modern GTA, like, main, mainland game, so, it's a little bit disappointing, with all the rumors of GTA 6. Um, what's your creeper? Come on, get can I kill you? Please let me kill you. Another one, so I can still have a chance. Also, the old iron ores. Honestly, this version is better than Java Edition. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I guess that's that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've ever played the Xbox 360, or if you've even, like, if you even have one. And tell me what your favorite game is in the comments. And I might even heart, heart your comments. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll, uh, see you guys soon. Bye!